Hello, kindergarten and first grade. Today, we're going to draw a big dot. And it's okay if it's not perfect. My circle wasn't perfect either. And we're going to watercolor. So make sure you dip it in the water first. We want to do one dip, two dip, three dip, and swirl. That helps us have enough water in our color for it to go on our paper. So notice how I dipped it in the blue three times with the water. And I still had to add a little bit more. Colors can blend together to make other colors. But you don't want to blend too much or else it'll all turn brown. I'm going to add some yellow now. Notice how I'm not rubbing in the same spot too much because if you rub in the spot too much, the paper will get a hole. So make sure you're really gentle when you're painting on your paint. You need to rinse your brush off every time you change a color. That's very important so they don't mix. Now that I filled in my dot, I'm gonna add some designs. I'm going to add some polka dots, maybe a zigzag line. Remember when we talked about lines? Sometimes you got to do two layers on there to get it dark. I'm going to add a blue zigzag. Oh, I just love how this is turning out. Look at the red dots. At the very end, you're going to pick a color to outline your circle. That means to trace the edge. Notice how I keep having to dip in my paint. That's a part of using water paint. You're going to have to dip a lot. Okay, so the people who are making not a dot are going to do the opposite. They're going to use their watercolor to paint outside the dot, not inside. So one dip, two dip, three dip. I'm going to use light green this time. And I'm going to go around my edges. I think I'm going to make like a kind of a rainbow color. I started with light green, then I used dark green. Now I'm going to use pink. And you always want to rinse your brush off in between changing colors so the colors don't mix. It's also very important not to rub your paper in the same spot too much so you don't rub the hole in the paper. You want to paint all the way to the edge. That's what makes our picture look all the way finished. Okay, so once it's dry, this will probably be the following week, we're going to take our crayons and we're going to fill in the empty space that we left behind. If you are someone who painted a dot, you're going to color in the background with crayon or markers if you have markers. Watch how I color really neatly and I'm not worried if my crayons break. Broken crayons still color. I'm going to get that whole background in and try not to leave any white spaces. Okay, if you're somebody who painted not a dot, you're going to color inside your dot. You can use whatever colors you want to. Try your best to stay inside the dot, but it's okay if you go outside a little bit. In this one, I chose red, orange, and yellow. When you're done, make sure you outline your dot with a dark color. This time I chose gray. And here are my finished dots. I can't wait to see how yours turn out. I know they will be beautiful.